just uh, just the way he carries himself off the ice uh, is uh, something special. So, so uh, obviously a special day for him, and, and uh, it's fun to see uh, uh, that he's retiring in Ottawa. I think, and, and that's the right thing to do, and, and uh, also that he gets to take the warm-ups there. What did you take from the, the one year that you played together with him? What did, what did you take from him? Uh, just being along, you know, with him in the locker room. I'm sure you played with him uh, yeah. on the same line. A little yeah, bit. just a great leader. Obviously, as a player, uh, a great player, slows the game down to, to his speed. Uh, unbelievable hockey sense and, and uh, a great shot. Uh, obviously, scored a lot of goals and, and uh, off the ice, uh, a great leader. Uh, just uh, how hard he worked. Uh, true professional and. Uh, just brought so much experience, I thought. And, uh, uh, never panic or anything. Just he knows, uh, uh, he knows uh, the game, and, and it's been around for a long time. So, so as a young guy, you can learn a lot from him. I guess did anything surprise you about when I mean, you get a chance to be with his teammate for a whole season like that? Anything surprise you that you, maybe you didn't know about the guy or something like that? Or? No, I mean, anytime you, you have such a great player and end up uh, coming into your locker room, I mean, we, we have a couple guys uh, in here. Uh, I was fortunate to play with uh, Vic Lidstrom for, for a year as well, or for a little bit. And, uh, obviously, uh, our leaders right now, Hank Cronin, uh, uh, you know, just, just how he carries himself out there. So, uh, so special. You had to be pretty excited about that.